Are you free free in your home? I want to use this opportunity to greet my father in the law. Sir, I'm very grateful. And I thank God for this great opportunity given to me this evening. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. I greet all other my pastors here this evening. That the Lord will make you strong and strong more in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Tonight is a night of double double. Listen, I'm personally going to show you so that you know what I'm talking about. Tonight, I said tonight is a night of double double. And I mean what I'm saying. You know, once God decides to bless you, to visit you, he will do it totally. He will never let one stone, be, one stone behind. Whenever God wants to do something for you, he will do it completely. He will do it completely. I remember 2001, I got married in this church. I was wedded in this church. Sir, God bless you, sir. Because I know you are the one who joined us together that day. In January 16, 2001. January, July, July 2016, July 2016. And we thank God today that the journey of 20 years is not a wasted journey. It's not a wasted journey. But tonight... I want to tell you that I met the God of double double and he gave me double. I met the God of double double and he gave me double. Sometimes there are things that God will tell you. You may not understand it immediately. But as long you go on, on in life and you keep to that what, that what God has told you. You keep to it. You hold on to it. You will discover that God never fail. You will discover that God, no stinkle of his war, where God without be fulfilled. Let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 14. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 14. I will read it from here. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 14. I read, I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. And nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. But God doeth it that men should fear before him. Before I got married, this was the scripture God gave to me to go ahead in the marriage. Even though there, was, there were battles. But thank God that when something tough comes to you, you have to find a way to get yourself tougher. This scripture became fulfilled in 2014. Completely. Completely. Let me call my children and my wife so that you can be able to understand what I'm saying. Can you come up, my dear? Daniel, come up. Eziba, come up. Deborah, come up. Esther, come up. Amen. Then I come here. Everybody stand there. Stand there. Amen. Praise the Lord. These are the first twins. These are the second twins that came in 2014. And when it came, the first thing I that I remember was that scripture. I go open my eye. Yes, it has been fulfilled. That become what? Fulfill. That whatsoever God doeth, he doeth it. 
No man can add to it. No man can take away from it. But God doeth it that every man my what? Fear him. Today, those who said, don't marry her, most of them cannot visit me. Those who said, come, you can't have children. Why are you getting married? You can't have children. Where are they? Some of, them, I, some of them are already in the grave. And you tell me that the word of God does not fulfill? The word of God will fulfill. The word of God will fulfill. It was a big miracle. It was a big miracle. We had these twins in 2012. 2012 November. November 19. And before they came... There will be a series of battle. There will be a series of battle. But let me tell you what this is. Let me tell you. The, the greatest miracle of it all. No, no hospital, no scan in Lagos saw them. No scan see them. We got to know that they are two Right when we were praying. We got to know their says right when we were praying. I remember we were doing morning devotion early morning. Me and my wife was praying. And my wife said, he had a name, Exiba. I said, it's a woman that bear that name. That is the first. On the second day in the morning, as we were praying again, she, she had the name, Judgment. I said, that is Danny. Two of them. That is how we got to know that they are what? They are says. No any hospital. No, we don't. We have moved about in the hospital in Lagos. We started it from UCH here. We started it from UCH. We move around. At that very point in time, we were even preparing to travel out of the country to go and do IVF. When God dis us. God is wonderful. I say God is wonderful. By the time they came, but let me tell you that if you are facing anything in life, the first thing you do is go back to the God who created you and connect to God. And that means if you are here tonight, you have not known God at all, you have not known Jesus, this is an opportunity for you that the God of double, double is here. I said the God of double double is here. Yeah. I said the God of double double is here. Yeah. We are not just standing here. We reproduce. We reproduce. We reproduce. Because we don't just not go along saying it. We have been on it. Yes, reproduce. We tell others. This is us to do it. Go to God. Pray. Read the word of God. And they came today. Those who said they will not come. Ah, where are they? I remember my cousin I was staying with. My cousin whom I grew up in his house. Specifically called me. He said, Matthew, why do you want to marry? Don't bother to get married. I couldn't tell my wife. He said, because you can't have children. I pray this evening. Whatever spare that they have cast against you. And they are telling you, you want to do this, you can't do it. Tonight, you, that, that spell shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I remember one day I went to his house to tell him that I want to get married. And uh, I came with a card. He said, ah, And I said, why? He said, if you have come here yesterday, they will have broke your leg. I said, you see, that is why I didn't come. Because I know yesterday you plotted the evil. And the evil cannot go to the child of God. But you look at Psalm 128. He said, blessed is the man that feared the law. Verse 3, they say, he said his wife shall be like a fufu vine by the side of his house. 
But the sound of his table. Amen. I say amen. amen. Let us say God that do it. I will start the journey from here and we'll move on. We'll get to Lagos. I will continue the journey. But it got to a certain time, the battle became more tougher. I remember with me and my wife, we traveled home. We said, ah, since we were there, we have not got home. We travel home, do everything, just greet them, spend money. And we decided that when we come back, we will leave the country immediately, we'll go and relax and come back. We, we wanted to be other African country, But we went to Ghana. Or get it to Ghana. We were there. And when I said, okay, we want to go out. I will just pick them because if I say I will go into detail, we'll take our time. We were in the hotel. And I said, I told my wife, PPL, let's go out. And my wife said, okay, that he wants to make a tea for me that I will take the tea. And I said, okay, let's go. As I finished bathing, and the woman that said, want to make a tea, I just saw her. She's, she hold her head. He said, ah, my head, my head. I said, what has happened to your head? Before I knew it, she has gone. She had she have fallen on the ground. And the life has gone. I look at it. Who did I know in this place I'm going to call? Who did I know? In Ghana, I didn't know anybody. Do you know what I said? I pick her up. I said, God, this is not the covenant you made with me. That I have a covenant with you. Oh, yeah. You must come back. And she come back to life. And when she come back to life, she asked me, what happened? I said, you just slum. And I asked her, you that slum, what happened? She said, she just saw herself going going. Then an old man called and said, go back. Don't you see a man calling you over there? Go back. He said, that is how she wake up. That means life has gone. Life has gone. I didn't know to go and call somebody else. I had to I said, God, this is not the covenant you made with me. And she come back to life. In that, in that particular year, that was during fasciola coming in regime. And at that very time, I was nominated in Lagos to partake in the Lagos deliverance. So I was nominated, my name, and they put my name, I don't know who put my name there, but I just saw my name, and they gave me a call. You have to participate in Lagos State deliverance. And we went around in the old land, we visit places where there were shine. That was where I knew that there are shine. There are places that are bad in Lagos. And after, it was after that we traveled to Ghana. And they told me then, they said, well, they will pray and nominate seven people who will do the sea deliverance. That if you are nominated, they will call you. Me, I didn't put mind that they are going to nominate me because there are big, big names that were there. So, we were in Ghana, and then I had a call. I said, ah, come on. You have to, you will be in a so-so house for 9VG before we move on early morning. I said, ah, that I'm not in Nigeria, I'm in Ghana. And they said, they cannot replace you with anybody because you have been nominated to prayer. I said, okay. And I told my wife, I said, let's make a move. And we take off. We came back to Nigeria. I participated in that deliverance. And after that deliverance, we have a series of programs. Because that was time that I went on 135-day fasting. Listen, when you are facing a battle, you give what it takes to eat, and you will defeat the enemy. And I believe here that's evening that somebody is here that you will march over your enemy this evening in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We went back. I will come to Nigeria. I participated in the deliverance of the sea. 
and we came back. And after that, I resumed my office. We continue working. To the glory of God, let me make a point that there are certain things that when God is doing for you, you must apply wisdom and be wise. In 2000, 2010, Abby, 2010, 2010, we had a baby mysteriously. The baby had, we had that pregnancy in 2019 after that deliverance. And the pregnancy became a bound pregnancy. We carried that pregnancy all about for one year and six months. One year and six months. But to the glory of God, after we delivered the baby, the doctor was saying this, this. Before we know it, the baby died. The baby just spent 10 days and he died. That was where... I have to look my, my bed, attaching it very well. I have people who are living with me in my house. And I told my wife, I said, today, everybody have to vacate. So let's face each other. Who know? So that we know where the battle is really from. And I dispose everybody. Even though it cost me a lot. Because I remember that day that I have to, it cost me a lot. I sent everybody home to their parents. Go. You take. You are going to learning. Go to learning. Take. You are going to Auchi, go to Auchi. I would do that. And I did not allow them to see my wife after that baby. We came back home. When we came back home, we first sit squarely. We are no longer sleeping in the room. We are, sleep, we are sleeping in the parlor. We put foam in the parlor. We, we sit, sleep there. We wake up. 40, one hour, two hour. We pray, we go back to sleep. Let me tell you, I did something which I realized that was a mistake. That the enemy from there hit when we had our baby. Nobody, no deliverance of that baby could take place in Lagos. We have to deliver that. That delivery of that baby take place in Patakot. We have to fly to Patakot for the delivery of the baby. But no, no medical could believe you. No med you see, they do tests. They say it's ovarian disease. They do this one. They say this and that. Medicals are good, but it's not everything the medical you have to believe. Medicals are good, but it's not everything. But on that very note, the baby was delivered in Patakot. And we came back to Lagos immediately. Because we went with flight, we come back with a flight. You can go to your seats. You can go with children, you can go. Amen. Amen. When, we, when it takes to the time for us to pray, you can go, my dear. I'll still call you. When it comes to the time to pray, I'm going to call them. Because they will impart double into life today. We will impart double to life today. Amen. And after that delivery, when we came to Lagos, this. They do a lot of things, and they said, the baby, these are this, these are that. And the baby died. And when the baby died, I told my wife, I said, I'm going to bury the baby by myself. I wrapped the baby. We took the baby to Yaba. And I bought a place to bury the baby. And we buried the baby. And when I wanted to bury the baby, there's a word God gave me there. He said, for thy shame, I will give you double. And I lifted up the baby. I said, God, you gave me. I'm giving back to you to collect double. And the water dropped from my eye. And I started crying. The brother that was with me said, Pastor Matthew, please. I, and I released the baby on the ground and we left. Immediately after we left, we got back home. And we said, it is time to prepare. I was telling you that I make a little mistake. The baby was given back to at 1 a.m. in the night in Patakot. And 1 a.m., I pick up. I call her. I say, so like, ah, my wife don't deliver a baby girl. Not knowing that I'm looking for more trouble. One person made a comment to me. He said, 
I hope that one will live. That was the comment he made to me. And I asked him, that has this woman delivered one before that does not live? And he kept quiet. And his daughter was with me. And I'm training his daughter. When he made that comment, ah, from there we make up might. We dispatch everybody and we stay alone. And when we stay alone, we battle it out. And we say, God, double must come. And God started. Remember, I, I'm sure some of you might see me on TV then. Because right then, I was working along ministry along with Pastor Bega Osho. I remember I met him here. Where Daddy invited him to preach here. So it was here I met him. And that's how we got to know each other. And when I get to Lagos, I was attending his ministry. And God so great. God is great, oh. I say God is great. I say God is great. And that is how we dig it. And from that day, from that day, we keep quiet whenever I expose anybody. Anybody. See, my wife has the first twist, the second twist. I didn't allow her, any family to come. Oh. And Subsequently, when the pregnancy of the twins came, the first twins, God asked to look for somebody who has belonged, who are, is a friend. It's in about the ear. He said, God told him that he should go and tell me that for three good months, nobody, no family from my own side or from my wife's side should see those children. And the guy, and he was looking for me. He didn't have my number. But he only knew that I'm in Lagos. He, knew, but he never knew where I am. He said he entered one, a bus one day in a battle here. And a woman was talking. And the woman was talking. And the woman now mentioned my name. And he asked the woman, Madam, that person you mentioned his name, do you know him? And the woman told him, he ah, he's my neighbor. He said, ah, Pastor Matthew is my neighbor. And that is how he said, can you give me the number of the person? He said, wait, oh, let me call him first. What is your name? He said, Shegwa de Soya. The woman called me and told me, he said, there's one man here. He said, uh, he's looking for you, that he know you. His name is Shegwa de Soya. I said, ah, Shegwa de Soya, give me my number. The next day, Shegu was in my house. That is how he got to know me. He got a message. He was praying at Orioke. And when God told him, he said, go and look for this man and tell him. And God told him, he said, if anything happened to those children, he will hold him responsible. And he came to my house. He delivered a message. After I delivered a message, we said, take Coke, uh, this team, Mott, to drink. He said, he said, to one rummy, moti waje, dio to your long, moti bon leo, moti basori ebae. And when he got to everybody, he called me back. He said, please, that message, please, don't tell. The message is don't tell anybody from your family, anybody from the family of your wife until those children complete three months. And the children will get back to them. No family from my own side, from my wife's side, no for three months that will deliver. If they call us and you want to pick the phone and the baby is there crying, you run away from there. Go and pick your call. I remember one day, our mother, my mother-in-law, that is the person who we grow up with, is in London, and call us. And this is a woman who been mounting pressure on us and telling us, say, Alaba, uh, Alaba, this, uh, these people, this is my own. This is our own. They are not the same to you. That is the word that that woman always tell me. Whenever I come, he will call me to come and pick him. When he call me, he will see my wife. He will see one child of other living with us at the back. He will say, Alagba, this is our own. And this is my own. They are not the same to you. And I understand it. 
understanding. Because the, man, the woman only see that we take care of others. And there we are, we have no. And nobody, those people who are taking care of their own, nobody of their care that we have no. Nobody of them. Nobody of them. But thank God. Thank God. The amount have been short. I said the amount have been short. What name are they not call us? We were passing in the street one day. In our own street where we live. Where we build our old house. And, the, and we hear the woman saying. See that can uh, a man and a man marry and have children. I thank God my wife didn't understand you. But I didn't even bother to tell her. I didn't even bother. When we get back to the first twist, our house was full on the day on Nemi. And they say, ah, around you, oh, my Lord, ah. Before they know it, the second one has entered. And the same woman that were talking, saying, eh, eh, what do you think, Lord? Ah, he can't want to go, ah. No, I understand you, but when you speak, there is no one you can speak. I don't understand. And the, woman, the woman was saying, ah, eh, ria, where ni? Eh, ribo, she put on with. Eh, ribo, she, ah, where she done? Oh, like, oh, lo, you. Oh, lo, you, again. Oh, titi, lo, you. Eh, oh, ribo, boy, and ribo, she, gas, okay, ni. His woman was saying that. And as they were saying that, I smiled. <laughs> I didn't tell my wife. I just smiled. I said, well, the way they say it in those days, they are seeing a good one to say now. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. That is how the first twins came. And they came in a miraculous way. Please, I want to outline some certain things that you can you do to make the impossibility to become possible. What you do to make the God of double-double to appear in your case. Fasting, you fast. Prayer, you pray. Praises, especially the woman. Time is not here. My wife will have talked. It comes to a time we have to work on our mind and our thinking on everything so that whatever you hear is baby. Whatever you talk is baby. When you eat, you baby. When I want to call her, I don't call her love again. I said, yeah, baby. The twist has not come on. Yabeji. In the church. Yabeji. And sometimes some people will look at, who are you calling Yabeji? I say, it's my wife. It's Yabeji. Amen. 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 I remember small small, I would be saying it. When I, let me tell you, that traveling, I said we travel home. I remember something there now. When we got to my Elon place, the mother was still alive then. And come to greet mama. Before we know it, being there, there there's a Muslim, it came from a Muslim family. And the woman come, call war afar. I saw somebody sit down. His sister sit down. Mama sit down. And they talk, 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 talk. They say, I should come and bring goat. That the goat, that mama say, make a covenant somewhere in the river. That if we bring goat, we start having children. That one God. I say, Mama, okay. I call Mama. I say, Is that why this man is sitting? He said, Yes. I say, Mama, I am the God that will collect the goat. I said, Mama, I have become the God that your daughter will worship for the rest of her life. Give me the goat. I wasn't afraid. I wasn't checking. The, the moment I said it, they are far get up with annoyance and walk away. I say, Mama, I have become the God. The Bible says, Know ye not that ye are gods? There's somebody who stand in my front and say, He's God. No, I have become that God because I carry Jesus. Because the Bible says, Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I carry Jesus, I carry the Holy Ghost. And the man walked away. Do you know? I didn't know they were. With all the annoyance, they went away. And I told my wife, we will beat them down. We what? 
we will beat them down. When we get back to the first child, his senior sister does around the old their village to the point that she can no longer talk. He said, come oh. My sister, when they say he's barren, it's not a mother. Amen. In, during before the Christmas, she was in our house, and he see the whole house full. He said, ah, he look at my wife. He said, ah, may you be this? That is what, and my wife told her, that is the, what the God we serve can do. Come to this side. Come to the other side. You are on the other side, come to this side. This is the side that you have the God that can do all this. And that God is here tonight. I said that God is here tonight. I said that God is here tonight. He's here to do it. You know, we are we not up to, to full one year when the pregnancy of the second twist came. In my area, any pregnant woman don't check me. Because if you check me, you must burn twist. Uh, some, one day we went to a supermarket. And uh, a pregnant woman who knows is there. And my children, and I say, ah, yeah, yo, how are you? He say, ah, am I, uh, Pastor, am I not seeing me more? Because we, we are not just saying it, we reproduce it. And I'm here tonight by the grace of God. That's tonight, somebody will get that anointing. <laughs> somebody is here. You are going to get it. Either you are believing God for your children. You are going to get it. Daddy, I will say somebody you know very well. Sir, you know Sister Chinyeri. Sister Grace, sister. She was married for good 14 years, no issue. And it suddenly heard that we get back to twins. And before you know, second twins come. And he had to look for all way to locate me. And he got to our house. The first day he come to, come to our church, he met us. He said, ah, how do we do it? And he carried my children. And the children were with her. And my, my, the first daughter nagged the woman and said, God bless you. He said, Sister Chiri, uh, they normally call her Mommy Shinyeri. He said, Mommy Shinyeri, you are going to burn twist. Oh. When you burn twist, one will bear my name. The other one will bear my brother's name. And the woman was looking. Now, so the apple. Before you know it, Sachinere was pregnant. It was not mistakenly. She had twins. One boy, one girl. And the funniest thing is that the girl was the one that came first because the girl was the first that spoke. The girl came first. And when the girl came and the tea was going on, the other two Twins. I said, ah, Mommy Chiyere, ah, you gave uh, Daniel name and Eziba name to your children. What about we? What about we? Ah, Mommy Chiyere and I said, okay, when other comes, we we'll give you your name today. And they say, okay, let's bless you. And one thing Sister Chiyere was always doing is that whenever he see these children, he must put something in their hand. He came in time and told us, Sir Chinyeri, this one you are doing is too much. Please stop all this. He said, now your hand I put on. Leave me alone. And he had twins. Not only that, before you know it, God surprised her after 14 years. After 14 years. And by the grace of God, today, we're in a period of not up to Full three years, she nearly had five children. <laughs> because the other one was telling her, so you have not given our name to your own. Our name is not in your children, so you must produce one to give our name to. And that's, the second born became tipless. Two boys, one girl. Two boys, one girl. And that is the wonderful thing that God is doing. And I believe tonight, what I'm saying, I want you to begin to get ready. 
Key into it. Key into it. You know, when we had the first twins, my best man had to leave Abadin and come to Nigeria. Because he was, Titumore is my best everywhere. What I don't even tell my brother in Nigeria here, yeah, me and him talk it. But God is so good. God is good. If you see the devil fighting you, he cannot win. Have you ever seen that a shadow over, over, overwhelm you? Can a shadow overwhelm the owner who, who has the image? No. Satan is just what? Like an, a shadow that you have to kick him aside. I tell him no. If anybody, have, if they have been calling you one name, you find another beautiful name that will replace that name by yourself. No, it got to a certain point that my mother-in-law had to sat my wife down and told my wife, I said, go and look for a small boy, a small girl, I married for your wife. When that one started producing, yeah, you produce. Our own mother, not my mother. Our own mother. I just saw, because the mother was sick, we have to bring the mother to Lagos to take care of her. And right, in, she was... So give the mother drug in the room. And he went to the mother and was talking with the mother. And the mother said, come, I have something to discuss with you. Go and look for a small young girl. I marry her for your husband. When she start having children, you start having children. I just saw my wife cry, came out. I asked her, I said, what happened? She said, I can hear what mama is saying. I said, forget about what mama is saying. Mama, that is her own understanding. But... I, I told her that day, I said, you, don't, you may not know that before I get married, I make up my mind in my life that I will never have something to do with two women in my life. Maybe that was one of the reasons that the devil is fighting. Do you know when I started praying for my own brother, my brother also had double twists. <laughs> I married I married before him. I married before him. I married before him. I prayed to the point that the night the the egg broke and my brother's wife took in 4 a.m. in the morning. I pick up the phone. I called my brother. I said, Ask my brother, where are you? He says at home. I said, give phone to your wife. I said, ah, my wife. You just take in right now. Please be very careful. You take care of twins. You take in of twins together. The phone fell from her heart. He asked my, he asked my brother, what, what kind of woman being is your brother? And my, my brother looked for the phone and picked the phone back and called me back. He said, what did I say? I said, your wife just take in last night. Not quiet long. My, my, my brother said, how did you know? I said, forget. I said, for you to know that what I'm saying is right, one will be my cardboard copy. I told him, I said, one will be my cardboard copy. And exactly, exactly, when you see the girl, you cannot say it's my brother that born him. You tell me, you tell him, say, ah, now your papa be this. Just to prove to him that it's God. To prove to him. And God is great. I say God is great. Let me tell you, God did not just only in, in fullness, in foot of the womb. God demonstrated to us that he's a lovely God. By the grace of God, we have our old house built by us. We have our old house, five bedroom flat with two parlor. And the funnest thing, you know, do you know the funnest thing? Let me tell you, if you are facing a battle, if you cross this line and you think that you are winning, that the enemy will want to say, okay, you want this side, let me go and try this side. Immediately we add the first twins. I lost my job. I lost my job. And I was okay. We wanted to say, 
the money in our hand, let's send it for get a car. I can use the car to do one thing of other. Somebody will give the money for sit down the money. Car? Money. But God, who is more than everybody, this him. By the time God gave us car, he came to our house. He couldn't talk. He was silent. I pray this evening that the God of evil will silence all your enemies in the name of Jesus. As I was going about and said, ah, let's look for a job. God did a miraculous way. You know the job where I am now, presently? I did the interview on phone. I did the interview on phone. The person who was conducting the interview for me is in London. He's in Abadi, in Scotland, speaking with me. After the interview, it was then he gave me the address where I would go to resume. And sometimes, even the man himself is a pastor, and by the grace of God, when we are talking, you can't know that uh, is a, we think that we are colleagues. Yesterday, he was talking with me on phone, and a friend was in my house. And later, he asked me, say, is that your guy you are talking to? I said, yes. He said, you are just talking like uh, uh, friends, colleagues. I said, that is how we discuss. Now, since he came back, we have not seen. That me, I have not been to office. He too has not been to office. Now, whenever I come like that, when we sit down, at least three hours, we used to discuss. We we'll just talk, joke, nothing of other. Amen. That's how faithful God is. God is so faithful. And he's able to do it. And one thing I want you to believe, I want to read the book of Genesis chapter 15. It's a story that many of us know very well. That Abraham was about to go to the war. And, and suddenly God spoke to him in a vision. That Abraham, I will protect you. I will guide you. And suddenly Abraham says, protect me. What have you given me? See me, I go childless. Is this Elijah of, my, of Damascus that we elite all that I have? That was when God started taking him about. And said, look up. Call the star. Can you number them? No, if somebody told me those days that I'm going to have a set of twins two times, I wouldn't believe him. I wouldn't believe him. I wouldn't believe him. We're married late. At the end of the day, we waited again. We had the first twins. My wife was already 47. That is why I want to date some of us who believe in, say, eh, is, uh, when I see my period, when I see my period, I pray with woman, that woman that had a twin, have a baby boy, eh, a baby girl. That woman, he told, the woman told me, the, day, the first day I met her was in the church, he called me and said, Pastor Matthew, I don't know, I don't have the time to discuss with you here. I don't know whether you can create time for me. I say, create, is this church that I can create time for you now? Sit down in the church. He said, no. He said, can you go and see my wife? She wants me to meet her in an eatery. We sit down and you discuss with me. I said, no worry. Tell me, I will tell my wife. And she told me. I met her. We discussed. And I prayed with her. And I told her that your mother is behind the issue. Your mother. His own mother. The mother is in underwater, and he wants the daughter to replace her. And the daughter is making a stronger. If you are making a stronger, you will have a child. I said, I, I just told her, I said, don't worry. It's God can undo anybody. God can what? Undo anybody. And I said, we started praying. Every Sunday, come to the church, we continue prayer. And one day, the woman told me, say, Pastor Matthew, I don't pass menopause. I don't enter menopause already. I said, forget about menopause. How old was Sarah when Sarah delivered? How old was Sarah? I said, forget about that. You believe what we are doing. That 30 minutes, that 10 minutes we are doing. Believe it. Last year, I dedicate, I do the naming of our baby. In, is it June or mid July? During the COVID, me, I was doing naming about. I was doing naming. 
I started 2020 with Nemi. 2020. I started 2020 with Nemi on more on, on the force in the morning. I about finished in the morning after watch night service. I entered the house. I helped them key file. I did it. I did everything. I dressed up. I called one of my boys. Come and join me. We are going to do Nemi in Lagos. We went to Lagos. We did the Nemi. Early morning. Whenever everybody I say Happy New Year, I will say with a newborn baby. What is better than what is good more than that? I told them that that is a good way to start the year. That is a good way to start the year. And I believe God tonight. No matter whatever you be, that woman. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. And that woman delivered a baby boy at the age of 50. At the age of 50. Do you know something this meaning when I did in that naming? There's a woman from MFM who came to do the MC in that naming. And the woman was giving a testimony that her own mother gave birth to her when her mother was 60 years old. In Laughter Foundation, we have 65 getting pregnant who have retired already. They have done a civil service job, have retired. See them. Well, we are counseling. Mama, don't travel, low. don't go anywhere low. with this, your, you are heavy now. You can't send people, you can't send people you are, who are older than you. And you are talking to them and you are saying, ah. Amen. Let me share the last one then we'll pray. The, the one that is so great is the one that is a friend of my when we moved to Lagos, I scott in his house. Because when we got a house, later, want to enter that house. And we have to pack away urgently from there. And I scott with this a friend. And I can't call him name. I call him uncle. Because we got married. He was in, he was in my wedding year. He was, he was here. The year we got married, that was the year they are married complete 10 years. That is the year their marriage complete 10 years. And suddenly he heard that my wife gave birth. She, he came to our house. After she came to our house, I wasn't at home. She and my wife was at home. And my wife said, she, when she came, she saw, she looked at everything. She helped her to do everything because nobody was with her. Helped her to do all they wash, do clothing, everything. He said, after that, he now said, let them pray. He hold the hand of the first twins. That was the first testimony. He hold the hand of the first twins with my wife, as small as they were. And they pray. The woman cried. The woman cried out her heart. And the woman left. We never know that woman was calculating was calculating the date she hold the children and, and pray with them. And exactly the day she, that, that he owed, that he complete nine months, that you owe the hand of the children, she took him. She took him. That's why I tell you that we, are, we reproduce. The reason is that because anybody that hold them, you don't give birth to two boys or two girls. It's one boy one girl. He held their hand and he prayed seriously. But at the end of the day, by the grace of God, they had twins. A boy and a girl. After 25 years of marriage. After 25 years of marriage. Sister Vic, one day we'll, we'll, one day we'll put them, all of them in a, in a picture 
I will come here to show you. you it's, sin is believing. And that same God is here tonight. I said that same God is here tonight. When he gave me the scripture, that whatsoever God do it, he do it, it no matter how to eat. If there is anything that anybody has had to your life and is injury you or delay you today, tonight that thing shall be come out. That thing shall come out. I said that thing shall come out. I said that thing shall come out. Let's rise up to pray. Listen to me. It is not, it is not only when you don't give birth to a child. That you are barren. No. If, listen to me. If you give back to trees, you don't have money to take care of them. Call. That is why you must what, not only have the children, you must also have money. You must what, have money. When I carry a, what they call, a small car and put all of them at the back, and they will be tight. When we were coming, all of them slept. They have their space to sleep. They have their space to sleep. Everybody have his own seat. The moment they enter, they are going to school. Everybody know already, this is my own seat. Ah, everybody will say, Daniel, you are sitting on my seat. Go to your seat. The Lord will do that for you. I said, uh, it was when the, the second twist were coming. God gave us a sinner. God gave us a sinner. I told you something that when you are looking for children, you will not only pray, you will also, you also sold. The car we were having, we are enough to use two cars now. God told me, said, that car, don't keep it in your house. Give it out. And I told God, I said, God, ah, there's something to repair in that car. He said, you will put 60,000 and give the car to that brother. And I look for the 60,000 and I put it in the car. I say, sir, come and carry your car. You don't just say, ah, you must, you must pay a price. I told you that I fasted for 135 days. Let me tell you, when we moved to Lagos, we did night VG every day for two years without missing a single day. That time we, we don't lift it to news. We don't know what is happening in Nigeria. What is happening is what we need. What we need. She's here. Two good years. Every day. If we get home in seven o'clock, we don't eat. Can somebody get home in seven o'clock in Lagos? You know now. We got home before you got home, seven o'clock. We are not going to eat. We go to the bed. We wake up by 11.30, we dig it at 4 o'clock. And are you not tell me that the yoke will not break? I know it must break. It must break. Are you, are you not thinking that the door will not open? Are, the door, when the door is about to open, it must open wide. And tonight, somebody's door will open wide. Somebody's door will open wide. Listen to me, if you are a woman, they'll be, they be telling you, it's a very acid, it's a fibro. I've seen fibro become a fibro. I've seen fibro become a fibro. I've seen it. I've seen it. When I was in laughter, I was leading a department. The brother was my assistant. His wife, they say, he went to the hospital. They say, it's fibro. I say, Pastor Ken, are you going to allow pressure to go on. He said, no. I said, let's command this you to become a fire boy. Listen. He became a fire boy. If you see this boy, I know, if there is no man see that boy, I does not look that boy twice. Yellow, fat, fine, ah, very awesome. And you are telling me if you are telling me that you are, you are crying. They say, five, why are you crying that it's fire boy? Fire boy can become a fire boy. Can become a fire boy. That was the report of the doctor telling you that. Do you know one funny thing? The fire boy became a fire boy that everybody in the church, when you see the boy, you want to, you want to go and hug him. 
So you are going to talk to the Lord. No matter whatever I be delaying you, that delay, I cause that delay tonight in the name of Jesus. Let me outline some certain things that either people. Here you, you have a dreaming, hitting in the dream, having sex in the dream, having spirit wife, spirit husband. We, we, we don't see where spirit husband, what do you deliver? The spirit husband pick Cain, want to beat people. Shut up. That means you go beat. You don't know your mate. Know your mate now. Amen. Any spirit husband that follow you to this place, by the power that is in the name of Jesus, from tonight, you will not experience that art again in the name of Jesus. I say you will not experience that art again in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 49, it says, shall the play be taken from the mighty, not the lawful captive deliver? Say, but thus says the Lord, the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the place of the terrible shall be delivered. He said, I will. God said, he said, he will fight within that fight against you. He will, not that feed, what? He will feed them with their own blood, and they, with their own flesh, and they shall be drunk with their own blood, as what? As a sweet wine. They will be drinking their whole blood. They will take it that they are drinking wine. Amen. So lay your hands. If you are a woman here, you are believing all you are, you are. Listen. Don't make that mistake. It was somewhere we prayed for somebody. He said he was, uh, he was sitting, he was raising hand for somebody. And he raised the hand. When he finished prayer, he put the hand on his tummy. And when he got home, he was pregnant. He said, no, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want. Nah, there's no want where we pray. You don't want to. There's no say, I don't want to. I don't want, not that I want. If you lay hand for somebody, keep that hand. I go and either when you get home, you lay the hand in handkerchief. And when you lay that hand in the handkerchief, you post that handkerchief to that person. Or if, but if you lay your hand on your tummy, uh, by, by the time before the year run out, you will call me for Nemi. Amen. You will call me for Nemi. There is no, you don't, you don't, in a place when they talk about the fruit of the womb, you don't say, I, I mistakenly lay hand. You will mistake, you mistakenly carry the pregnancy too. You mistakenly carry it. Amen. So we are going to talk to the Lord. The first thing you do is to repent. But I must give a warning here. If you are believing God for the fruit of the womb, don't ever, don't ever allow anybody to take you to an abalist or take you to a ritualist. That was the, one of the major things we never do in our life. We never want to say, any Baba somewhere, who is Baba somewhere that we don't have? We never. No, no matter how the pressures may be, don't allow it. Because if you have been praying before and you have moved 100 miles, they pull you back to go and start from square one. Because by the time you realize it, they have done havoc already. They and the witches, they are together. They are together. So tonight, if you are believing God for the fruit of the womb, Lay your hand on your tummy. Talk to the Lord what you want. Talk to him. The Bible says, it's God. And there is no like unto him. It's no like unto him. When Abraham asked him, God gave him. The Bible says, children are the heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is the reward. So you are going to pray and say, Father, any man or woman sitting on my fruitfulness by the power in the name of Jesus or put them out in the name of Jesus or you are beginning to talk to the Lord. Last koposhi kataragaba. Leskutelingabaskotoika. Thank you, Jesus. Leshalaragabashito. Ten minutes. Okay, sir.
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Love, come. Daniel, come. If you are believing, I don't want to waste much time. Pray the Lord, prayer on. But I believe God. Before I came here, I've saw something before I came. Okay, sir. You know, when I started praying, I said, Lord, that which you have showed to me, you will perform it here. Amen. 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 You, you see that he was so fast. He do call himself, say he's a prophet. <laughs> Amen. As he, come. Amen. Love, come. Listen to me. As you are coming to me, come. As you are coming, line up. Or you are coming, I'm going to touch you. Or the children is going to touch you. Believe God. Believe God. I'm, I'm, I'm a type that, I'm not the type that likes so much praying, laying hands on the people. I'm the type that like ministering straightforward. And God has been doing it. God has been doing it. God has been doing it. Amen. My, my medias, my senior sister's son got married for over six years. And uh, the boy was somehow, one day he called me and said, brother, you know you will pray for me. I said, if you know you, I have that anointing, you look for me. Is the anointing that you believe you look for, that anointing that you honor, is that anointing that bless you? Yes. Is the anointing you honor that bless you. And last year, immediately, the program we are having at the end of the new year, he took his wife and they came to, and they came to my house. And I prayed with them. February, uh, ending of January, I mean. And they went back. By March ending, he called me and said, the wife is pregnant. I said, you know that before you go to Waka about. You say you are in redeem. <laughs> I said, don't worry. The Lord will help us. I said, the Lord will help us. The Lord will help us. Yeah. If you are believing God for the fruit of the womb, please, just come to the front. Come to the front. I believe we will have more times by God's grace, sir, that I find times more to come again. But then I will have like seminar teaching you one on one certain things you must have to understand. That when you are waiting, there are certain things you must do. You not just live carelessly. I believe if I ask some of you today now, you are drinking coke. I believe you're going for the fruit of the womb. Your best drink is water. And if you take a camel, you put five cubes of sugar. And there was some of you know what women do. We say, "Now, nah, men, nah, I don't need that one." Listen, it also affects. Also affects. Those are there are some rudiments who are taught by Pastor Wenga Osho this day. He was growing some of us up, and we are following him. Amen. And as a woman, you don't just sit down and say, "I'm believing God for the fruit of a womb." The latest movie they are going to show, you know it. You don't have time to pray. Nothing jobs back. Nothing just jobs back. But from tonight when you got home, decide by yourself. Make up your mind. Did I want this thing? Did I really need this thing? That will give you determination. That will give you determination. You sat down. Did, what, what is the delay? Am I the one delay myself? Because in point of cancelling, we get some problems so easily without long prayer. We cancel a woman. The woman, the woman was deeper life, and it come to run. And the woman has married for good several years, and the woman was treating infection. Infection, ordinary infection. And do you know what it's supposed to do? Just uh, what is that name of that capsule? Uh, that capsule they gave her woman. Just. Just two capsules. Take it for five days. And 
immediately she took him. She took him. And the yoke of several years was broken. Listen to me. When you waited as a, a married woman, you waited for two years, three years. Somebody else is behind that issue. Let me, let me, it's a play truth. When you got married, it's, no, there are some couple when they got married, they say first year they don't want to have issue, they want to enjoy themselves. No, if you are not like that, you got married first year, second year, third year, no issue. Brother, rise up. Sister, rise up. Something is somewhere. Something is somewhere. No matter if you are here, no matter the age may be. The Bible says in the book of Psalm, Psalm 92, in verse 14, there, it said they shall still bring forth fruit in old age. No matter how age may be, you bring forth fruit. You bring forth fruit. Is your wife here? Yeah. Oh, God bless you. Hold a hand. Yes, Kataliagaba. One of you that are studying here, the lot of things that are disturbing you is a kind of, we can regard nyama nyama inside the body. But the angels of God will break them out. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Reka pasoto daliagaba. Who do you want to touch? Go ahead. Go ahead. Last copa shata lingaba. Linga basita liaka basita. She has come to you. Hey. Las kute la manda yagasita. Ye sata liaga boske te lika pa. Ras kute la manda yikasata. Lord, we thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You have done it before. I know you will do it again. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, be unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. D, who do you want to touch? Go ahead. Mark. Odim, he has come to you. Les kata liaga basoto tayagada. Les sita la mande riakatu. Les zandali akakuta. Las kupe kasata liaga. Resanda bamos keteika. Yes! Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hello, sir. Play for me. There is power in the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Yekasadarababushata. Deborah, do you want to bless anybody? Eh? Oh, yeah, come. Tata, you want to bless anybody? Eh? You want to bless anybody? You know how you bless Sister Chinere? Eh? Mommy Chinere. Who do you want to bless? Who? This woman. Oh, yeah, come with your second. Damn, blood. I empower you by the power in the blood of Jesus. Oh yeah. Let the impact go. Let the anointing go. Thank you. You say you give me children, we will go to the world together to bless the world. Lord, we release the anointing. We release the anointing for twist. Now, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, do you know why? Do you know why I call them to choose by themselves? Because those people, they minister to on their own. I did not go to them. I didn't pray for them. I only can't send them. I didn't pray for them. They are the ones that pray for them. 
They are the ones that pray for them. I didn't pray for them. Because they came to replicate themselves. Because they did not only come, they are gifts to me. I cherish them. I cherish them. I cherish them. But they are gifts to me because whenever they tell me in the morning, I'm going out. I say, Daddy, bye bye, God bless you. That day I'm blessed. That day I am blessed. When you say somebody is blessed, I am blessed. They come, they don't just say it. Sometimes I may be going, they will not say anything to me, but sometimes, especially, especially the one, she's the last one. If you say to me, Daddy, God bless you. Ah. Amen. That day is for me. Let's Kataliaga Basuto. Open your hand. Ask what you want. Ask what you want. Thank you, Father. Lizale Agaba Soto Talika. No, Pastor Yinka. I really wanted to impart to you. This man. Give me one boy. Give me one girl. Because we must, daddy must be seen too. That run after them. Amen. Lizkandali Agaba Soto Tayaga. Lizkandali Agaba Soto Tikapa. Lizkandali Agaba. Yes. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. He told me you have twins. He said you. He said your boy will be John. Your girl will be Deborah. Amen. That is what he told me. He said you. He said you will have twins because that it was when we left here last week Sunday. The boy come to me. He said there's a pastor that preach in the youth that he love him. I say, ah, that is Pastor Yinka. He say, ah, daddy, when will I see him? I just, I never knew that he's going to call me to come back. He told me, he said, where will I see him? I love him. I love him. And he told me now, he said, I should tell you that your boy will be John and your girl will be Deborah. Amen. I stand in the agreement with you tonight. The God that doeth all things. And the one that called it, he said, Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the side of thy house. I decree, John and Deborah, come forth in the name of Jesus. John and Deborah, come forth in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes, 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 Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. the next person? You have told him. You want to say something? You want to say something? Okay. You are true, Abi. You are true. Okay. He said it's true. Linga basatale. Oh, yeah, come. Okay, mommy is praying with them. Lin Gaba Sataya Gaba shoot. Let's come down. Sir, please. Mama, are you standing for somebody? A brewing. Tabat. Anybody standing for anybody? The Bible says he sent his war and the war eat them and deliver them. I send the word of fruitfulness because the Bible says, and God bless them, God send unto them, be fruitful and multiply. I decree unto you right now, be fruitful and multiply in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Or you send the handkerchief to them every night when the wife is sleeping. Let him put that handkerchief in her tummy. Let's see if the womb has gone before, it shall be restored. 
we have seen in the service. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Madam Tick. Yes. Take your twist. Take your twist. Take your twist. Take it. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. A, a guy from this church in, uh, in one company in uh, nine pets and you're a petroleum something and I didn't know him but he was the one that knew me and he called me and he come from that day he became my friend he became my friend so whenever I have anything to do there I just I don't need to even go there guy give me a call I say it's Shola is his name yeah I remember his name now Shola well I, I believe now he has climbed up no longer out of that position again. Father, I speak life, I speak fruitfulness unto your children. Father, and of a son, and of a Holy Spirit, I break that yoke of barrenness. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, sent his word. The word either, the word deliver. Let the word deliver them right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Declare and release the anointing of double double unto her right now. As that anointing go into the handkerchief, the handkerchief will wrought miracle in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Is it you or your children? Huh? Your children. My lips could talk Lord, I release the anointing of double in this hand as we enter into this handkerchief. They become an instrument. The Bible says an apron was taken from the body of Paul and he was sent and he drove out demon. I decree the anointing for fruitfulness into this handkerchief now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. I release the anointing of fruitfulness, anointing of double in this hand in the name of Jesus. I release anointing of double into this hand in the name of Jesus. Anointing of double into this hand in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shall the rest of us not be on holiday by the grace of God? Can you just rise up and support in prayer? I want you to stand up and pray in the spirit. Pray for yourself. Pray for your family. Whatever you need, don't let this time be wasted. While he's praying with these people, you also appeal to heaven. And believe God that whatever miracle you desire will happen. Can you please stand up? We are not going to have another message today. And so just rise up and pray. And ask the Lord to help you. Uh, we will do communion if the time permits. But I want you to just rise up and pray. And ask the Lord to do the best for your life. 
Uh, don't just sit down and be a spectator. Uh, the, in, the, in the charismatic apostolic church, nobody is a spectator. So pray and ask God to do signs and wonders in your life. He's giving us enough tips. He's giving us enough counsel. He's giving us enough insight. He's giving us enough wisdom to be able to get results. So please, can you just open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord? I want you to do it with all your heart. Don't just be spectating. Even if you are a pastor, there is a need in your life. And so I want you to pray that God will help you and your children. Father, let your hands, let your hands touch her right now and destroy every yoke of barrenness in the name of Jesus. Let me hold your hand. You, you, I can do Father, I release your anointing for triplets. I release your anointing for triplets. I release your anointing for tripless. 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 Hear the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. As you bear the handkerchief, it's tripless, tripless, tripless. Amen. Father, I ask by the power in the name of Jesus. I send the word of healing into them, into their body. Anything that needs to be repaired, anything that needs to be changed, Lord, those creative angels, those creative doctors, oh yeah, go, 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 and they create now into this body in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. If they are praying with you, they are praying with you, you can go to your seat. When you go to your seat, don't just sit down. Be praying. Because the angel of creation are moving around. They will change what needs to be a change. What needs to take place so that that word will come to pass. Tonight, the angels are here. Listen. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. One of the revelations I saw before I came, I, I told my wife when we came in, 
I didn't tell her when I was praying, when I got the revelation. I saw an angel. One wear white. One wear blue. The one of white was on this side. The one of blue was on this side. And he was packing things out of people's body. And he carried them. And he was going towards the toilet. And I said, what did you carry that you are going to the toilet? He said, it's the waste that had disturbed the people that is packing to the toilet. I saw them. They wear white. Listen to me. Because as I was preparing for this program, that you know, I was having a program that started on Wednesday, month of transfiguration that ended yesterday. And I was also preparing doing that program. I was also preparing for this program too. So, I saw the angel. The reason why I knew it was here, the picture of the church was shown to me very well. It was in that step that the angel came down. And he came down, the one that wore blue came down. And the other one that wear white came down from the back and he was going. And I said, where are you going? He said, I, I said, don't you see the lilum in my hand? The things that disturb people is what he packed in the lilum to go and throw to the toilet. So that's why I believe here tonight, the angels of God are here walking. I just not just come here, but by God's grace, by God's grace, for us as a family to come. So God is walking in your body. God is walking in your body. And all you women who are believing God for the fruit of the womb, please, I want to stop you to do some things. Two things I'm going to stop you. Stop watching all those movies. The time of movie transfer into prayer. Eh? Transfer into prayer. Stop drinking minerals, sugar, stop sugar, sugar. Stop it. Sugar. Okay. There's something my wife is going to say to some of you. Why she's doing that, I will minister to some people I have not ministered to. Eh? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, there is nothing you want to do in life that has no procedure. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm talking to women. There is nothing that has no procedure in life. When you are waiting, you need to learn. When you are waiting, you need to ask God, what is the school that you are taking me through? There are procedures in life. Are you getting what I'm saying? I, it was laid in my heart to tell a lot of things that make women to lose their children. When God has impacted what you need into you, little things, get them off. One, anger. Two, quarreling. Three, striving. Are you getting what I'm saying? Three, striving. Then the fourth one is the food you eat. Those four things, you have to really watch out. Because when your, a seed enters you, into you, most of the time, you will not know until when it's three months. But when it is one month, few weeks, you don't know when it gets down. It has happened to me. After prayer and fasting, that night, when the thing took place, I missed my period. But after five days, the thing went off and the period came out. There are certain things that took place. And also, when you take in the early stage, the men should stay away. The men should stay away. Because it is very, very fragile. The men should keep off for at least one month to let the development of that egg take place. Are you getting what I'm saying? So these little, little things, at the end of the day, you see somebody, when the thing goes off and goes off, the, the person the, he becomes, you know, an abortive children all the time. They call it miscarriage. And that one is even worse than when a woman is not pregnant. When you are getting miscarriage all the time, it gets very, very worse because you'll be very scared and afraid because, one, you don't know what to do. The Lord will help you and give you direction. And that is also the period when you need meditation most. Meditation on prayer, confessing the word of God is very, very powerful. Confession of the word of God. When you meditate in confession, you can even sleep and it comes to you. There is no demon 
that we want to coagulate himself or herself what into God's word because the light of God has illuminated you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Confession is very, very powerful. It sinks into your soul to the extent that when you sleep, the light of God surrounds you. So no demon can come. No demon can come. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I told that in when he come up, that one of the things that God showed to me is about the communion. I never knew before I got to do communion today. Uh, when I was praying, when God told me, I was like, how am I going to tell him? And is it not too late for me to tell him? Because it's one of the tools that the power of God will walk through into your body. Hmm? Because when you take it, <laughs> when you take it tonight, you have been taking it before, but tonight on will be different. Tonight on will be different. So believe it. Hmm? God bless you. I, I think I will pray for every one of you. Please. I, I told a woman that, yes, please, when I come here, you and your wife should see me. Eh? God bless you. Uh, he came to my spirit right now. If you are here, you are having just only one child. And you have make up your mind that this one is cuckoo enough. I don't cuckoo grow. Anybody like that here? You have only one child. And you have make up and say, come. God is not a liar. When he come to my spirit, I say, ah, amen. You have only one child. And you have cuckoo grow. This one is enough. Do you, are you, have you decided that that one is enough for you or what? Sorry. Uh, you, are not, you have not remarried. And it's, the woman is not coming back. I will pray with you. But I know God will do something. But you have to see the man of God to cancel you. Eh? See the man of God to cancel you. But because God specifically told me, he said, somebody is here, has only one child, and he has stayed there, on one child. The God of heaven will visit you. And I don't know the way he will work it. Because he makes a way when he sees to be no way. He will make a way. He will make a way. Father, make a way when he sees to be no way, Lord. And let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I lift up my hand this evening. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, anyone going through financial struggle, Lord, O oh God of heaven, make it easy for them. 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 Because you are God, there is nothing too difficult for you to do. When I decided last Monday that no matter whatever I may come, that my wife must hold her own car. You did it. You did it that Monday. Lord, we are grateful unto you. And we know you can repeat the same thing here tonight. Lord, visit everyone struggling financially in the name of Jesus. That idea that will give you an open door. I decree, let that idea come upon you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory, hallelujah, be unto you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Lord, I pray for children. Children, can I hear the voice of children? Yeah. Can I hear the voice of children? Anywhere I go, I always recognize them because they are wonderful. They are wonderful. When I hold a program in my church for children, they gave me a surprise. I, was, I planned for 15, but 78 came. And you know those 78, some of them are beginning to go and bring their parents. Say, Daddy, this place, now I want to attend. Amen. I pray for children here in the name of Jesus. Lord, you will keep them. You will watch over them. You will be with them. The kidnapper will not see them. I said the kidnapper will not see them. The hand of the Lord shall be upon them in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Are you blessed tonight? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Can you give him a big, 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 big? Thank you. Please do it more. Do it more. Do it more. Just bless the Lord. 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 Do it with all your heart. Don't do it halfway. Do it fully. Yes, 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 yes. Let's be thankful. Let's be thankful. Let's be thankful. Praise God. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You may be seated for only 10 minutes. We are going to finish in 10 minutes. Whatever the uh, mechanic.